Hey guys, Alex from Green Dream Media here, and I just wanted to address two of the most common issues that come up using Divi upload icons when you're uploading icons, because that's really the only time that you kind of have the opportunity for error depending on the files that you get, because different font sets may name different files different things, and so you just kind of have to make sure that they all share the same name. But I'm going to show you two of the most common issues uh, that you might run into, and then of course how to troubleshoot them. So I'm going to upload this drip icon set. It's an icon set that I really like. It's a lined icon set, kind of cool. And I'm just going to upload only the font files, not the CSS file. And you'll notice that it's uploaded it, but you'll see that it's got this icon next to it, this paintbrush icon. And if I mouse over it, it says this icon set is missing a CSS file and won't work until one is uploaded. So the plugin has recognized that we have these font files called drip icons or dash V2 available where the, the font icons are there. But it doesn't have the CSS sheet to really know how to understand that, to tell Divi how to understand that. And so if I jump over to the front end here and I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page. you'll see that uh, when I open the blurb module, we're not gonna have any additional icons, even though those are uploaded. Um, we're, we're gonna only see the elegant themes icons. So if I come down here, image and icon, scroll down to the bottom, yep, see we just have our Divi icons. And even in filters, my only option is elegant themes. So let me close this guy. And likewise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove him if I only upload a style sheet, it'll upload it, but it's got a different icon. And you'll see it says 200 additional icons here. So Divi Upload Icons has recognized that this icon set has 200 icons, but this icon set is missing font files such as EOT, SVG, et cetera, et cetera, and won't work until some are uploaded. So it's saying, hey, we know these are here, but without the font files, we can't tell Divi how to correctly display these icons. And of course, if I load the front end here, you'll see that the results will be uh, exactly the same as when the font files are missing the style sheets. We're only going to see our elegant themes icons here. So I'll go ahead and load it up. Image and icon. Yep, see we still only have our elegant themes filter. That's still our only option. So I will go ahead and upload these other font files here. And you'll see that now that icon has gone away. So it's, it's loading it. If I refresh the front end, we should now have the elegant themes icons plus the new drip icons that we just uploaded. All right, let's see here. Now if I scroll down, see now we're into our drip icons here. And of course, they're in the filter as well. So if I only want to see the drip icons, I can, or elegant themes. So I wanted to show you that because those are the two most common errors. And actually, I'm going to show you one more as well. Let me go ahead and remove this. Most of the time, when you download a web font icon set, your CSS file is going to be named style.css. It may be called something else, but most of the time, this is what it's called. If I were to just grab all these and upload them, even though they belong together, if they're not named the same, the plugin doesn't know how to match them up when you get a bunch of other icon fonts in here, or when you get any. And you'll notice that it's treating them as two different icon sets. And this one says it's missing a CSS file. This one says it is missing font files. So it's trying to treat them as two different files that are both missing, or two different icon sets that are both missing important parts of it, and now neither will work. So that's why it's important that you name your CSS file the same as uh, your icon uh, font files as well. And so if this ever happens to you, if you get this and you say, oh shoot, I, I didn't name these correctly, you can just go ahead and delete them. And then go ahead and grab them all and re-upload them once they're renamed. And you'll see that now everything is back and working correctly. So uh, that's the most common thing. Just make sure that you do properly name these identically. Uh, otherwise it won't work. You'll get those little messages and then hopefully uh, after watching this video, you'll be able to understand what's happening and troubleshoot that. So that's really the only opportunity there is to kind of um, get things not quite right. Uh, once they're uploaded, the plugin should take care of the rest for you. So, all right. Thanks, guys.